So... It, it still cannot predict where they're gonna place this the trap and Templar Assassin. It Ten could be anywhere. But I think Five Templar Assassin remaining. would be more durable in the middle lane than the track because he doesn't have any defense uh, mechanics. Reserve time already for execration. All they need is a hard carry that is kind of aggressive and online very fast. I would something that can deal with the Templar Assassin refraction would be great with all the damage over time. I think I think Life Radiant Dealer is not bad. Razor. Okay, Razor. Okay, that is also not bad. Position one Razor. Dire team ban. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds oh, remaining. My hair is kind of messy. <laughs> Five seconds. Snapfire. Remaining. Out. That was a great ban. Yeah, Snapfire. That was a great ban from Execration because uh, Liu Gun playing Snapfire is all good. Last ban. They need to ban all the um, strong offlaner. Tight Hunter is still there. I think it's it probably gonna be a tight hunter for for execration. Yeah, it should ban tight or pangolia. Dire team back. Monkey King. Hmm. Interesting. Going for Monkey King. Radiant <coughs> team pick. Mareska has arrived. Dark Below has been banned out. Leo Gun. This is going to be another support. Position four support. I am thinking about Lion. A great support. Ten seconds. I remain. think Lion. Or even a support that can have um, AOE spells. Remain. Disruptor. Disruptor or Lion. Rubik. Man, but Rubik, what are you gonna stall? No, maybe a blink from the Queen of Pain? Dire team pick. What's the way? Pangolia. All right. I am. Um, it, it could potentially beat Pangolia three or four. If Pangolia three, then moving Spirit Breaker to play support also not bad. With the Ogre Magi. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. This one for execration, I I would love to go for a tight hunter. But but tight hunter, you gotta deal with a Latrak or Templar Assassin on the on the off lane would be hard for you. Storm Spirit. Your hero. Storm Spirit. Okay. Ma position one. Bob Storm Spirit mid. When Tino playing Queen on Pain as an offlane. Interesting, man. This one.
little humility. You can run. No! You should Prepare run. For battle. Oh well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the last game of the day. Lugan vs. Execration Game 2. Gonna do some quick intro who play who in this game for S12. Playing Ogre Magi. 11. Playing Pangolia offlane. 4 2 3 on the track. Post 1. Kichka. Spirit Breaker. Post 4. Sanctity. Templar Assassin mid. For Execration on the dire side, we have Vincenzo playing a Post 5 Child Demon. Bob. Storm Spirit mid. Abu on the uh, Earth Spirit. Post 4. Ma, Post 1 Racer, and Tino, Queen of Pain offlane. Thirty seconds to battle. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I think that's no rune fight for now. The battle begins. It's gonna be two for two. Let's do this. Looks like I oh, when when we get into the game, I think first thing I can I can feel is everyone, especially for execration, is under pressure. Liu Kang, even though they want game number one, they are also <laughs> under pressure because they really want to win. After they failed in, in the previous series, tied with Team Yang Kong Galacticos, uh, despite uh, taking the lead 1 0 first. Sanctity. So I think this game is gonna be a little bit of passive, both sides. But if there will be. Any side who start first, I think it's going to be Liu Gun. They are willing to take more risk than Team Execration. The track. Let's try to spam the Ignite. He has four mangoes. Uh, it's 12. Come on, man. Too many mangoes. Do you know I live in Thailand and, and we have a really good strain of, of mangoes here? Sweet, sour, we got it all. Spamming a lot of ignites. On to Tino. Come on, man. Is that intent to kill? Right now? Radiant oh, Curry. no. They lost the, the Radiant Courier. No! Oh, well. But at least um, Ace 12 get his stuff first before the Courier goes down. Rolling boulder in. Connected to the track. But Ace 12 just throws some Ignite in order to counter. Abu. Ah, Avu ah, stuck in a splitter and also the uh, fire blast. He need to turn on his fairy fire just to get away. A spirit magic stick. Vincenzo need to be careful about his harassment as well. If you get too near, you get batched by the Barathrum. <laughs> Kishka! Kishka! Was hit by the plasma affair, you need to charge away. Die! First blood Last hit. First blood goes Razor. It's the creation doing such a great job. Sanctity. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, uh, bottle of refill. 
three and a half in it. I think Kishka trying to find some some angle to charge in the middle lane. Are you being spotted? Radiant 11, alone, solo against the uh, support. Nice one using the uh, Swatch buckle. And she crash against... Oh, me. what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, I think his teammates just laugh a lot at that. Oh, dear. Oh my. Eleven. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So that's a free farm to Razor. He's almost level five. I think Eleven spent too much time in the jungle trying to chase for the support. And go. There goes Fire Blast team up with mm, almost split the damage over time. Is that gonna be enough? One hit only. Now the fire blast. Oh god, Tino. <laughs> Oh man, he... My gratitude. That was an unforced error by Tino. I mean, he, he could have just stayed back a little bit inside of the tree line uh, when, when the damage over time is still with him. But he, he shows up and then <laughs> the Ogre Magi changed the target. Meanwhile, at the top lane... Oh, looks like a revenge. On the core too. Little gun. Okay. Vincenzo level four. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Definitely eleven. Whenever he gets back in the in the later stage, I think he going to find that Vincenzo. He mad at him. Just now. Long range charge. Huzzah! Yeah, Bob needs to go back. Dyer's structures are fortified. Uh, finally, the lane is attack. free for Sanctity. Level six and a half. <laughs> oh, nice snatching Dyer's the rune by Bob. Illusion oh, rune is inside. Oh. That, that illusion is gonna work well to get a refraction too. Charging in, Bob. Bob just came back from the base. He can't go down over there. One hit, Swashbuckle, kill that Bob. Man, he wastes too much time. Too much time on that. He went back to regen, he come back in, and he died back. So yes, it's gonna be walk back to the lane. Vincenzo being found. Charging on, Shiu Crash, Swashbuckle. Like I said, it feels like Elevent is... Uh, he has something what personal. <laughs> Sanctity. Even though it's not something personal, but in, in a team fight in, in the later stage, you, you just Bobby have to kill the Shadow Demon first. Attack. He causes too much problem from the disruption. Split her, Tino, rolling boulder in. Try to kick it away, but look at the damage output from 4 to 3. Easy kill on Avu. Your desolation and the worlds are one. The trend is coming back to Liu Gun once again. Sanctity. Vincenzo gonna get charged in. Can slow down with Sonic Trap? Yes, he can. Already oh, uses disruption. Oh, that was a lure. That was a that was a bait. G great bait. I mean, even though they lose the support, Vincenzo, but if they can get two kills, then it's it, it's worth worth it. Oh no! Oh. Kishka. Let's see it going. Nice snatching the rune by the support and get the arcane rune. Tino, rivalry at the bomb lane. Very nice kill. Uh, with the help of the Awu Earth Spirit and get rid of 4 to 3.
I think it's all about the confidence when uh, when it's Tino Itchos. Um, he just need to gain all those confidence back that he's one of the best um, off laner in Southeast Asia. So this is maybe a stage to prove himself. Very nice placing the Obsol Ward here. It's hard to spot, and um, it's spot spotting all the movement of the Spirit Breaker left and right. I think they want to go in mid. Vincenzo is acting like a bait all the time and down in the middle lane. He knows that he could get a charge in any second, but he knows that he has the uh, disruption. So. Oh, it looks like Eleven need to use a Rolling Thunder to run away from Razor. Very trinket. Love item. Spell damage. Mana cost reduction. That means just perfect for the trap. Three man smoke. Trying to make something up on the bomb lane. Going in. Aiming for the trap first. But the trap damage is ridiculous. Oh, he almost killed first. And he's still there. He's not going down just yet. Templars is in. Moving to the scene. He's trying to clean everyone up as everyone is so low HP. Oh, Tino falls. I am not sure. Is that a good trade? Uh, Bob got another kill on S12. Yeah, seems to be a good one for Team Execration. But can Bob just run away safely? Where's the party? Sank, he didn't get the kill. He gonna go straight for the Blink Dagger. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't go for some damage item first before Blink. Desolator or something like that. Tino is a target. He's trying to defend the uh, collapsing tower. Top tower has been Already blink. Yes, Swashbuckle, here we go with a Rolling Thunder. Can he blink again? Bows 1-2. Tino, three times. Tino. The blink is not back up yet. Okay. However, it seems like more needs to be traded on that. Bob, not good. He gets the support. Now he's running out of mana. If he goes down too, then... Oh no, that's his disaster. End to end game score, Liu Gun. Man, I, I feel like the decision making of Team Execration is kind of weird in, in the second game. Bob decided to to seek for revenge for his teammate when he is low at Radiance HP and also mana. Doesn't even have mana, just ball lightning away. Gaining advantage bit by bit for Team Leogan. Four to three. Blessings. Bomb lane Kishka. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Last mile field. It's a crisis right here. No, the part one mile field is not around, so he's just gonna charge in. Need a strike. Rolling thunder. Bows one two. Last mile field. Mar hanging around. Nice save using the disruption, but it might be with Chanso. No, but that was a good save already. It's just not enough to get away from the swashbuckle. Oh, Sionic trap. Side blade in. Sanctity is on killing spray. Nice try, Vincenzo trying to save the target by using the disruption. It's just, you know, it's just buying some time. <laughs> K 
came in with the double damage for Templar Assassin. That is hella damage, man. Dragonlands on the way to the Desolator instead of going straight for the Blink Dagger. Middle tower is under attack. I'm over here. Over here oh, that was almost. Bob. Losing a lot of mana. It looks like I will try to save him, pull him back in electric vortex and dumped away on the higher ground. Templar Assassin was so good when it's time to the uh, timing of the blinks and all that stuff. Moving in once again for Vincenzo. Charge and also bash at the same time. Slow it down down with the lightning strike. He does strike it back. I will fall as well as Vincenzo. This is once again the game is getting wrapped up by Team Liu Gun. They're gaining a lot of powers and Liu Gun just gonna keep ganking left and right. And when they gank, the fact that they have the track, they can push the tower at the same time. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant Bomb lane mark. Liu Gun keep attacking on Team Execration. Doesn't give them any room to break. 4 through 3. However, getting outnumbered by a lot of Execration members, and he was brought down. Try to put a lot of pressure on the uh, bomb lane. They're gonna pick up the Bowdy Rune. Time to call for Vincenzo. On top, what we have? We have the track here. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Are they gonna go in? I think they're gonna charge into the Dyer NC. It's 12. Rolling bolting in. And it's 12. The first one who falls. Slowly uh, catching up for Execrator. Next one, Spirit Breaker. Just gonna teleport away. Was stopped by the disruption. Yeah, you might get a body block. I don't think he's gonna survive, but he is! Oh no, almost survived. Jumping in. Templar is seeing the double damage once again with the blink dagger, and he is there. Double kill unstoppable. Sanity gonna go down because of that razor. And six kills streaked at end by Mark. This is a good coming back to the game for Team Execration. Shield crash, another one. The fight at the stair started. Disruption trying to save Vincenzo. That's all he could do. Vincenzo might go down too. Pino jumped away, and now the big team chain into Vin Vincenzo. Your elements. Let's take a look at a graph. Win prop on LG. 85%. And this is the items update. Party. Amazing what you find laying around. And there's something extra for the ever. Worthy Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Okay. Four K. The trap. Yeah, he just finished his eternal trout. Interesting. Mob. Pangolia.
Storm Spirit. Alright, the fight breaks out in a dire and see. Next fight gonna be very important, especially for oh, Exabrasion. If they lose one more big fight or even worse team wipe, Huzzah! it's gonna be almost impossible to get the momentum back to their side. Because they're gonna win the fight, killing you, and also getting an Aegis as well. The first Aegis of the game. Looks like Liu Gun is ready to do so. I think got Desolator. Oh, I, I think it's on the way. Yeah, Desolator is on the way. Look at the damage dealt to Queen of Pain and it's just when the sister sanctity. It was it was calculated. And he killed the Queen of Pain even before the Desolator. It's just perfect, perfect range. He start attack here, and he knows that Queen of Pain is going to blink. And the second uh, Queen of Pain landing, he was there already. Start <laughs> and continue <laughs> stabbing non-stop. Inside the roll champion. Easy edges. Now here we go. Three man going in for the rolling boulder. Who's gonna kill it? The die is actually the one who killed it, but who's gonna get the edges and not pick up the edges to be mortal? This answer once again for Team Blue Gun. This might be a little bit of comeback. Okay, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Marvin is holding on the aces, is crushing everyone one by one. This is actually giving the hyper to Team Execration. They are chasing 11, trying so hard just to get back to face alive. Ace well uh, brought back and just destroy the team fight to kill that bomb though. Storm Spirit lost their life. Next one gonna be Marv. Marv was stopped by the new center. Aegis, he will be back. Yeah, nah, even though he has the Aegis, so I think it's a matter about the item gap and also the level difference between two sides. 6k ahead, let's take a look. It's still at 7% win prop. My man! What a crazy swing game here. It, the game momentum swing back and forth between two sides. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> See the graph. Even though mostly it's going up um, toward Team Lilgan. But tower it was a pretty entertaining game, I would say. Storm Spirit. Three man smoking. Vincenzo Bob and Awu. Top tower is under attack. High ground type trying Radiant to watch the target. Scanning. But see no one. I'm over here. Ten plus the scene. Whoever teleported down to the bottom tier one tower might get tower grabbed. Is under attack. Dyer's top tower Kichka is, under is attack. dead. <laughs> Dire structures are charge it out Radiant's to the creeps. One more teleported down is gonna be Pangolia. And the rest of Team Execration started to evacuate. Oh no, Sanctity getting caught all the way down the bottom and Sanity down. Nice one, nice one. But however, the fight keep goes on. Eleven rolling ball throwing thunder away. Now finally we get to see some mistakes um, from Team Liu fallen. Gun in this game. I, I think it, look it, at it, you it's too hard to careless for walking down attack. like that. For Templar Radiant's Assassin it got caught on the way fallen. down. Okay, trying to get the BKB for TA.
take it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Ready to tell the next guy. The track. Gold. I is a I nothing but my sadness that you're gone. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Let's take a look at some items update, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, tier two new gold items already. Dyer's top tower is under Key attack. Optic with Vincenzo. Essence ring on the uh, storm spirit. <laughs> Eight K. I think Liu can doing such a great job in in controlling the game. Um, they might not that yet, but um, uh, they got more area to farm. That makes the uh, the network gap gonna be even bigger and bigger. For execration, they just have to grouping up. Maybe they yeah they can kill, but they can't get the tower back. It doesn't mean anything. Invisit oh, oh. Pangolia. Nice text really. Spirit Breaker. Kind of surprised with the way that he played. You know, he died full time and he played as a support position for. Look at his item. He has the Shadow Blade Dyer's and he's on the way to an Agony Scepter, ladies and gentlemen. Start to the darkness. Reduce cooldown, cast point, and make it Pierce Magic Immunity. Man, that's that. I kind of surprised. I mean, when you compare the position for Spirit Breaker with the with the Earth Spirit, it's kind of big different. Yeah, almost double time different between the the, the position for. What a play by Kishka. The as you see. The oh wait, oh this one, Elvon. Nice using the swashbuckle to the higher ground. Bob already used the BKB. This is I kind of worry about Bob a bit. He is gonna run out of BKB when he needs it. That's what I'm talking about. Bob being saved by the disruption from long range, but he can't take. Once he come back, he he has to leave the scene. He can't help. He can't be the main damage for his teammates. But however, they still manage to kill that 423. Everyone has a BKB, Sanctity turn the BKB as well. Mark cannot stand the damage of Sanctity. Dead so later. And he's still chasing on that Tino. Bob. Now he just came back from the reach. And Bob! Bob! Double kill for Sanctity! Sanctity almost trip! Oh my Kishka gonna be the next one. Vincenzo, where gonna go? It's a trip! Man, you trip, bro! <laughs> That's crazy, man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Man, these. Dyer's structures are fortified. Just when we need it. Mm. Radiant structures well, are fortified. First of all, I think they made a little bit of mistake. I think Storm Spirit uh, used the BKB a little bit too attack. early. So, um, with that being said, so. He. He, he stuck in a split turret of the trap and he took too much attack. damage of the trap miracle damage. So that actually Dyer's forced him to just leave the scene too attack. early when the teammates still need all the electric vortex to stop all the attackers of Team Leokan. <laughs> <laughs> all these small mistakes in Team Fire just <sighs> matter so much. I think it's all about the uh, communication too. 
for Team Execration. Like I said, they are the um, they are changing some position in the team, so they really need some time to tune in. But they got potential, no doubt. I think this team is good. Are for Team Execration, right now, let's, let's take a look at that mental strength. Can they come back after such a hard game? Oh, they still want to teleport. Dyer's middle attack XD. is under attack. Pangolia. Whole <laughs> oh, Team Smoke, it seems like the uh, Execration know that Liu Gan if they are not in the Roshan pit, then they must be in the Dire NC. But Luger right now in the Dire NC. Too late to keep his creation. This time, no more uh, AP Snatch. Coming down is gonna be who? It's thankfully he used you chapter 1 by some time on himself. He touched down, doing the Rolling Thunder. Just a little bit, but died because of the damage sucked by the, uh, that mark. Sangli is on to BKB, keep in mind that Sangli is holding on to the edges, he's jumping on the higher ground, he has the higher ground, that is advantage a little bit. Tino turn the BKB, definitely he cannot stand the damage of Sangli, so he's trying not to get near Sangli. Gold is a great conductor. Mar is running away. Oh! Oh! Oh, he got so <laughs> Man, and teleport like that. Even Tino trying to just upgrade his armor now. Uh, plate mail first. Everyone knows that most of the Dyer's damage is coming from the Templar to see Desolator. Because they all had a BKB for the course of the of team execration. Let's go in. Storm Spirit on the uh, Lincoln Sphere. Ogre Bajai. Sanctity trying to stab on the tower, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last out power of Team Execration, and they already lost their top tier 3. I think they're gonna rotate to top, push top creep wave and try to get the uh, first set of racks there. <laughs> XP. Two minutes fifty seconds until the reclaim time of the ages. Watch buckle. And this is painfully is so annoying. He's he's so fast when he's doing all his his thing, chill crash, swatch buckle, it's so hard to catch. Sanctity. <laughs> I can hear I can hear the rolling thunder just now. Queen of Pain. Sonic Wake. On the way to Daedalus for the Templar Assassin. Let's take a look at the buyback status. No buyback for TA and also the track, but got a buyback for Storm and Razor. Precious bounty. Tino, got a buyback as well. I think they're trying to fight that Tino. Slide himself inside for S12. Not that far away from each other. Tino being spotted already. <laughs> Here we go with the multi cast. And the charge is coming in just in time. Rolling Thunder killed that Tino. Turn the BKB. Trying to jump away. Oh no, not gonna run away. 
Right now, I think Tino would be forced to do a buyback. Or definitely gonna lose the first set, or maybe two set of racks on top as well. Flying inside. Trying to stop. Trying to stop Templar Z from attacking the bomb tier 2 tower. A look at the damage. Damage not bad actually. Mark can kill Templar Z in just no time. Templar Z here we go with the zoning. We have turn at the BKB. He can't stand the damage in front of the Razor. Razor is just like a Templar coil. What a great defender. Oh man, he's trying to break through. No buyback from Templar Z. They just have to fight with what they have. This is, might be a turnaround game for Team Execration. Falling back to the higher ground, and they know that they are happy with the fight. But however, all the support, two support and one core, is still want to fight more. Oh, it's 11 falls. Mark got double kill. See, oh, was hit by the truck. It's crazy. I also, you know, I always want to do some cycling, a street cycling. Well, the only thing that I'm afraid of is to get hit by the truck. Just like this goddamn Spirit Breaker. And he's trying to go straight on the Queen of Pain, on the BKB. He needs to strike it back. He knows forever being all there. Another hit then. See how far he can charge it in. Abu, Abu, is he gonna get back? It's gonna be fine. Pitchka hanging around there for a little bit too long, so he charge away. <laughs> All right, the game is very entertaining. 94% win prop, only 6%. But I think they got a high chance to come back on this one. As you can see, the damage of Razor is not bad. Razor with a refresher or but if, if, if you want to strike again, you need to do it immediately. You can't wait for the refresher orb to to ready. Be ready. Oh, I think he is one Vincenzo. Vincenzo, the mafia lawyer. Krishka is dominating. Ooh, super breaker trying to just walk away. Ah, Wu ball. No buyback for the Queen of Pain, Tino. Let's take a look at that. That is the buyback status. Only three men has a buyback. Earth Spirit, Ogamatai, and also the Chow Demon. It's time to push, ladies and gentlemen. No edges, only flesh. Sanctity, strike on the lower ground. It's gonna be fine. Looks like he saved the tagging from that. Here comes the clip. Top pushing. Now finally, they are all back. But again, all their core heroes of Team Execration spent all their gold. They don't have any buyback. So, I mean, if Lugan trying to force in, I think there will be the uh, advantage side. It's time to push. No? Crit Breaker now level 25. What a great game of SP, man. This is Crit Breaker Position 4. Let me repeat that again. Okay. Position 4. Sanity <laughs> might get caught. Now, here we go. They start the fight first. We're gonna get gone on first. It's gonna be the trap. He's dropping quite low. I don't think he's gonna make it. Yeah, he's trying to do, trying to play as long as he can. But he will go down eventually. He doesn't have a buyback as well. But look at the damage output from Sanctity, man. That's all right. And the data must just kill everyone like goddamn vegetable. Next one gonna be that Rob. Rob. Oh, he trying to do the ball lightning. Double kill is all gone. No buyback for that Rob boy. At least two minutes in. Dyer's top has 
I think that will go straight for the Mega Creeps. Or can even go straight for the TFL. That is crazy. Razor have to buy out. Kaden, now the fight strong out at the DMO Towers. Next one's gonna be Earth Spirit. He's trying to survive in the Gold Scepter. Rolling Ball and was stopped by the Charge of the Darkness and he died right in front of the mountain. 11 tries to fall back, setting some indicators to come out of the mountain and fight. Oh man, I can see some fountain charge around here. Definitely Ultra kill for the 10 DD. It's time to just go in at the fountain, forcing them to call a DD. Lil Gun is about to sweep Steam S and Raiden 2 0 and winning the last match of the day. Oh well, oh well, you are they. Oh my goodness. What a crazy performance for Team Lil Gun here. In the second match of the day against Dyer's Team Execration, and it's a GT call, ladies and gentlemen. Lugan is our last victorious for the day. First day of Dyer's Beyond the Sun Mid Series, Season 10 of its age here, Phase 2. All right, <laughs> let me sip some water. What a long day, man. Six game in a row. Okay. All right, let's just switch to this scene. Well, 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 I I hope you guys are happy with all the games today. We have three matches ended already. First one, it was Young Gun Galacticos versus Team... Uh, versus Team the MTG. It was end with a draw. And also the uh, Team Liu Gun versus Team Young Gun Galacticos end with a draw. And our last match just now, it was Team Liu Gun versus Team Execration in with the victory of Team Liu Gun 2-0. What a great match and it's so entertaining. Thank you so much. Let me adjust the score a bit. Uh, yep. So I'm not causing any confusion for you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, we, we still have so many days of Beyond the Summit um, Southeast Asia Series Season 10. From now on in Phase 2, tomorrow we also have another three Best of Two Series. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and, and just stay tuned for tomorrow as well. Just m make sure that you click the follow uh, button on the, uh, on the channel. Thank you, thank you so much for all your opportunity for me to be here, to be your commentators today. I had such a great fun, we, we had such a great series and um, thank you for all your support and also the understanding with the <laughs> um, with all the mistakes that I did, the, like uh, missing kills or anything. I hope you guys enjoy and see you again next time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, and um, I will just say goodbye with a few songs then. See you around, man. <laughs>